The dangers guys here in West Africa with so much traffic that truck right there just lost control and went straight into that shop man hopefully no one got hurt and an old church right here as well some colonial houses a guy with some chickens a cannon in the middle of the street guys so yeah these are some of the highlights from Freetown Sierra Leone Something you don't see every day, guys. A tank just laying around here on the streets of Freetown in Sierra Leone. It's probably for spare parts or for, uh, you know, a scrap metal. But man, who would have thought? Still trying to find a place to eat, guys, but uh, I gotta show you the crowds. It's crazy. I mean, at times it reminds me of Dhaka, Bangladesh. That's how crazy things are, man. Look at that. And grab the tuk-tuk to return to the market because there were no restaurants that had any food whatsoever. Jumping into the next day. Good morning from Freetown, guys. Switching the camera so I can show you the view from our hotel. Scorching hot hotel, guys. So the deal is here in Freetown. Some houses, some hotels, some buildings are connected to the public uh, electricity, which the government decides to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, okay? Lots of them have generators, but they cannot handle the capacity for all the rooms like our hotel so only certain rooms are uh, connected to their own generators so one room had ac two room scorching hot guys we didn't sleep all day long it was horrible absolutely horrible we're gonna switch hotels today we're not gonna stay here we're gonna find something else on booking and then uh, head out but uh, yeah i just want to show you guys uh, how it looked you know so let's get another day started the dangers guys here in west africa with so much traffic that truck right there just lost control and went straight into that shop man hopefully no one got hurt but yeah when the time uh, comes you cannot control these type of things guys so yeah another another one of those things that uh, count your blessings count your blessings And after three hours trying to find a hotel, trying to see if the AC works, finally made it to downtown Freetown, guys. The courthouse is right here. Some of the other buildings. But we stopped here for the symbol of Freetown, the cotton tree, guys, which I'm going to show you guys here in a few minutes. And here we have it, the cotton tree, the symbol of Freetown here in Sierra Leone. This is pretty much where the foundation of the city started when the enslaved black people were released from the Americas. They came here, they were given land here where currently Sierra Leone is and Liberia as well and they founded the, the colonies. So this is one of the points. The tree is actually, you know, you can see, it, 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 I'm not sure if it burned down or it just got ripped. But uh, yeah, this is what's left of it. I'm going to show you guys more from the surrounding parts. But just wanted to pinpoint the main location, ground zero here. The central mosque here in Freetown. Not much activity at this point. It looks like it's still in construction. They have some uh, unfinished pillars. But yeah, it's uh, just another uh, attraction here in the city. The tree looks cool though on the left side. And a little bit of the historical part of Freetown. Yeah, we're taking pictures with everyone and everyone wants to take pictures with us. People are friendly, you know, even though it looks a little bit sketchy here and there, things are, you know, quite, uh, quite decent. And an old church right here as well, some colonial houses, a guy with some chickens, 
a cannon in the middle of the street guys so yeah these are some of the highlights from Freetown Sierra Leone yeah guys so this is the life in Freetown walking in 38 Celsius admiring what well, we can some of the colonial parts some of the modern parts some of the crazy part that you will see only in Africa some of the things that we cannot photograph because you know people will yell and uh, yeah we don't want any any trouble but yeah I'm gonna show you here and there a few more glimpses people are selling stuff we're buying some uh, corn we bought some cassava people have I think this is mango no it's not dry mango I'm not sure exactly what this is he has a penis in his hand so yeah some of the things and the view of the coast with another Turkish generator. Yep, we've seen them. We've seen them everywhere. And although I have two masks with me already, it's always uh, interesting to look around and see exactly what they have from where and so on. Very, very cool. Here's something I have not seen anywhere else. Man, from a turtle, the shell with the African continent on it with different rocks, seashells. Man, how cool is this? Check this out. Yeah, this is the first place I see something like this. Zimbeste, Zimbeste. Check out this beautiful colonial house as well. We are heading back towards the car right now. We spent way too much time at that uh, antique shop where they were selling masks, turtle shells, covered a whole bunch of stuff. Really not sure exactly where they get it from. But uh, yeah, there's another church right here that we wanted to visit. And that's pretty much it. The guys are getting a bag because the turtle shells are way, way too big for the luggage that we currently have. So guys, at times, Freetown here in Sierra Leone reminds us of Rio de Janeiro with all the favelas on the cliffs. Man, yes, yeah, not a favela, but it could be. The way it looks. And of course, we had to come at the fisherman's village as well. We've been everywhere to the harbor, so we could not leave Sierra Leone and Freetown without uh, a quick visit at the harbor. Very, very small compared to the other ones that we have visited. The people are just repairing the boats right now. No fish. And of course, Sierra Leone, the lioness, you'll see it everywhere decorated near the bars, in the city center, everywhere where there's a statue, you'll find a few lions here and there. Some of them goofy, some of them uh, less goofy, but you'll find them. Cool is this basketball court right here, guys, in front of the ocean. Woo, reptiles. Hello. And although we're gonna go at the beach on Banana Island tomorrow, we decided to come in a little bit just to see how things are. Not bad, not bad. A little bit dirty here and there. They have a shipwreck right there, which is very interesting. Let me take a photo really fast. But yeah, overall, it's decent. I've heard the beaches all the way down towards Banana. They're way, way better. We stopped here because they had some food as well. We're gonna have some fish, we're gonna drink a beer. And uh, yeah, most likely we're not gonna enjoy the sunset because people are a little bit tired. You know, it's been a, it's been a rough uh, two weeks, two and almost and a half weeks on the road, guys. So things are uh, things are uh, piling up. Finally, the food. Thank you very much. Fish, plantain, French fries, and some salad. Yep, should be good enough. And we decided to stay for sunset here near the shipwreck. We finished our meal, we had a little fish, some fried the bananas, some really, really good hot sauce. But 
you know, it was a beach atmosphere, it was more of a chill day, even though we ran around to go and get the visas, which we got in the end, finally got the visas for Liberia. Then we went to some viewing points like you have seen, you know, all around town today and tomorrow we're gonna go and visit more, let's call them more beautiful beaches because here, like I showed you, some parts are decent, some parts are, you know, a little bit crappy, it has quite a bit of trash, quite a bit of slippers, bottles and so on, but the cool part is, you know, it has the shipwreck here. And here's the shipwreck one more time with a little palm here that we have on the side and the sun so yeah guys it's been uh, it's been a long day i mean i think uh, things have accumulated you know the heat the dust the road and everything uh, even though it's only six not even 6 30 you could feel it you can feel the you know the tiredness you know especially after not sleeping last night because of the air conditioning not working you know we had to we had to be more congested we slept more in the same room because of certain people snoring and so on and so on and so on but all in all, it's been uh, it's been another great day here in West Africa, heading towards uh, Liberia, our final destination. For which, like I mentioned, we have the visas, we have everything we need in order to cross. Hopefully, things will be just as good here in Liberia as it was in uh, Sierra Leone with the bribes and everything. You know, things that we were we were told that the bribes will be quite quite uh, extreme, but so far so good. We'll see. We still have to go to Ty, which is uh, well. I'll keep the. I'll keep the stories for another episode. Won't let us fade away, even when we old and gray. Know that I'll be here to stay. Let's fall in love.